brand new set of cameras, titanium finish, dedicated customizable button. What does that mean? It means if we wanted to customize, we can choose focus, silent mode, camera, torch, voice memo, magnifier, shortcut, and no action. If we go back to the camera and hold it, you will engage the camera. If you hold it again, you will engage the video, but you have to hold it. If you release the button, it will stop recording. That's how cool it is. The rest of the software is really similar. So let's see how much power did we get this time. 2930 in a single core, 7360 in the multi core. If we compare it to the previous model, which is 2517, it's quite a bump. And in the multi, we are very close to the iPod Air 5th generation, which is on M1 chip. That's not the only benchmark we have. A Tutu benchmark, and of course, storage test. And I'm not impressed in the storage. I thought it would be much faster than the previous model, but it isn't 1600 for the sequential read, 1581 for the sequential write. And just yesterday, we have Xiaomi 13T Pro, which has twice the score, twice. In the write, 1971, in the read, 1067. Why the write is so fast? Well, this iPhone is recording in ProRes. If that sort of power doesn't mean anything if we cannot use it, then gaming. Sound, gameplay, looks fantastic. After hours of gameplay, 36. camera department we have usual stuff like in any iPhone but if we go to the video the lenses itself look wow wide-angle lens with autofocus if we go closer zooming in it looks like a microscope of course we have usual stuff portrait mode and stuff like that ProRes in HDR SDR and log in 4k 60 you have to record to the external drive why is that because of the heat dissipation, you will have way less heat to record into the external drive. That's why they did it. Of course, you can not do it and download yourself a black magic cam. Let me just. And then you can record a huge files internally, Apple ProRes 444. At four minutes, four and a half minutes, it was 77 and a half gigabyte. That's how big they are. That's how intense they are. The bitrate is insane 10 times more than any smartphone prores 4k 60 to the internal memory recording okay and it stops four minutes because the oh iphone needs to cool down temperature fifty-two those two files that's four minutes 30 seconds two minutes 25 seconds and the first one is 45 gigabytes in the latest apple prores 444 and 77 gigabytes recording on ssd okay 60 And a little bit of face for you. 4K60 external SSD. Autofocus and wide angle lens will give you the maximum 
experience. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Front facing camera, autofocus available. Wow, very wine, beautiful. New lens, more pixels, like you can see, a lot of details, beautiful natural colors, a lot of landscape for you. Even, even when I zoom in, wide angle, regular lens, zooming directly to a clock. Wow. Winning looks like in the real life. It, it looks like a made in professional camera with professional photographer. I'm just a, I'm just a dude from the internet. Overheating and battery drainage. Did you know that most of the smartphones overheats with Snapdragon 888, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1? And if you have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, your smartphone maybe not overheats, but sometimes, well, a couple of them, and I have them all, glitch during gaming and recording at the same time, because the internal memory was too slow. And when the iPhone got a little bit hotter, well then everyone loses their minds! Overheating is common with every small, efficient device, so why Apple won't be affected? But for me, it overheats only in ProRes, the internal memory. It was like huge files. The normal recording is all fine, even with intense gaming and recording at the same time. Battery, I'm getting average six hours of screen time. I think that is really good with my excessive camera use, most in ProRes, a bit of gaming and streaming at the same time which is, I think it's really, really good. So, what did we learn about this smartphone? And we learned that it feels very, very nice in the hand. Fantastic. Most of the smartphones in the day market are huge. Those powerful smartphones are big, double-handed smartphones. This one is one-handed. You really don't need a case. I mean, if you drop it, well, then buy yourself a case. It isn't the most powerful smartphone in the world with most powerful cameras beautiful screen other smartphones are going to 8k i prefer 4k with high bitrate than 8k not, not too many people watching 8k not too many people has an 8k monitor or tv or projector or anything 8k i think 4k with a good bitrate is the way to go in 2023 and maybe 2024 this smartphone is so far ahead of everything else in the market that i wish the galaxy s24 will keep up with that insane device I was trying to make a funny intro at the beginning of this video that it's overheating in my head. And I tried to overheat the smartphone, but 13 minutes in high ProRes, what does that mean high? 444, the highest settings, and it's not overheating at all. 14 and a half minutes. It's a bit warm, but it's still going. I'm going to run out of storage. It's like 200 gigabytes of it. <laughs> See, so it's not that easy to overheat the latest iPhone. 